Well, our very own Lauren, Lauren Zima sat down today for an exclusive interview with Bree, the contestant who faked the Australian <laughs> accent to win Colton's heart. Take a look at this. Colton, what's your name? Bree. Bree. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You got a nice accent. Where are you from? Um, the accent is Australian. I was hoping that you're kind of a sucker for accents. I am. What did you think about it? I love it. I'll see you inside, all right? Okay, all sounds right, good. Man. I'm not really Australian, but you have to do what you can to stand out. She did what she could to stand out, and now she is joining us live in studio. Welcome to ET Live, guys. I'm Lauren Zima here with Bree Barnes of The Bachelor. Bree, thank you for being here. Hi, thank you for having me. I'm excited. Okay, well, now I have to ask you to say that exact same thing, but in an Australian accent. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me here. I'm so excited to be here. Bri, I feel like your accent has gotten even better <laughs> since the show. That was really good. It's funny because I hadn't done it since I got back from the show. And then when, when I knew I was going to go on the live premiere, I was like, oh my gosh, what if they asked me to do my accent? Like, I haven't worked on it. I was like totally out of the loop. So I've been, I've been working on it a little bit more since then. Okay, so you were prepared <laughs> for the live premiere because, yes, they asked yeah. you to do it that night. Yes. Um, I have questions for you about that. But first, I want to say, so bummed. Uh, my Monday night, you were sent home in the rose ceremony. Was that surprising for you, that moment when you did get eliminated? I think in that moment, I was a little bit surprised. I was feeling a little bit more confident with the time that I did have with him, which unfortunately didn't make it on. But um, yeah, I mean, it, I, I obviously saw it coming watching it, but was sad to go. What do you think it was that, that ended things? Um, I mean, I think it's it's a matter of like a connection, which I don't I don't know how he felt about me. Like I um, I had a good time with him on our one on one or group date, and then um, I think it's also like just being able to like be comfortable on camera. Yeah. That that that's like huge, you know. Did you so, not feel super comfortable at that point yet? Um, it's funny because I'm like in front of a camera all the time being a model, but like video was a totally different thing for me, and I wasn't comfortable right away. It was like. A very surreal moment because I watched the show so much and um, being in like the mansion and um, interviews and everything I'm just like wow what like what's happening right now is crazy yeah so well like you said um, of course not everything that gets filmed makes it to air right. so how long after doing the Australian accent on your limo entrance how much time was there before you told Colton that is not my real voice I was actually like one of the first few to talk to him, uh -huh. so he knew right away. Um, I jumped in and was just like, I um, obviously do this as an icebreaker. Uh, it's it's like just for fun. I'm not Australian, <laughs> and I don't know if you caught it. I didn't lie and say that I was Australian. You said I just the said the accent, accent is, is Australian. Australian. No, no, no. So I saw I that. Saved I was like myself. A there. woman of integrity there. Yeah. She's she's bouncing around on it a little bit and keeping things real. Yeah. Um, had you used the Australian accent before? Like, where did the idea come from to do it for the limo entrance? Um, honestly, like. Like, I didn't know I was going to do that until like a couple hours before. Um, so I like totally oh, wow. went out there and I just had to wing it. Um, but I mean, the Australian accent I've been doing for probably a couple of years with my girlfriend, like we'll go out and um, pretend to just be Australian and we'll say like, we're from Melbourne and you know, so like, you, that must work. That must work with the gentleman. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it's exciting. Like don't, I mean, you must have a thing for like certain accents. I think everyone like yeah. finds a man and they're like, whoa. Listen okay. to that accent, you know? So I was like, this could work. So why a few hours before? Did you have a different entrance and, and you had to change for um, some reason? I mean, I just, I didn't want to think anything through too much. I knew that I would, like, get in my head. So I was like, I'm just going to, I'm last minute, make a decision. I, like, talked to the producers about it. They're like, this is great. It's so fun because I, you know, getting to know them had showed them my accent. And they're like, this is, this is this what you're going to do. Accent. Yeah. Yes. And so, were you surprised by how viral that went? Because before the premiere, a clip of you really went nuts on social media. Yeah. I mean, I knew that I left earlier on in the season. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I hope that I don't just, like, you know, fall under the radar here. And then before the show even started, that, that promo video came out and I was totally shocked. So now that you are watching the show back, knowing the ladies a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, we all, we, we see things that we didn't see in the house. Is there anyone who is surprising you who you're like, whoa, I didn't know she was saying that or doing that or was different than you thought? Um, I mean, it's funny. I mean, everyone says that Demi is the villain and seeing her interviews, I am like a little bit shocked to hear like some of the things she's saying, but like, she's really sweet. And I know that it's like all just in good fun. Like we're, we're all friends since. 
Um, so, yeah, like, no hard feelings with anyone. Who are your closest friends now? Closest now? Um, well, Tracy and Katie both live in L.A., so I hang out with them, actually. But I keep in touch with Hannah G. She was one of my closest friends in the house at the time, and Onyeka. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it is funny to see how, uh, you know, those interview moments, can, people can be a little bit different than you necessarily yeah. thought they were going to be. Um, and Demi, I mean, she's been against Tracy, you know, over yeah. this age issue. Mm -hmm. Were you guys aware that the age thing was such a big deal during filming in the house? Was it being discussed a lot? No, I mean, we all knew that, like, it, it was a younger group of girls, and we knew that um, Tracy and Elise were, like, the, the oldest um, of everyone else, but they were kind of just, like, you know, like, the mom of the house, and we'd go to them for advice and everything, and, like, I, I didn't see it that way, you know? It's because... Like, I, I think that they're young. 30's, like, the new 21. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing is it's like, oh, I love Elise, but she said, Colton and I have an age difference. I was like, I think it's like four years. It's not that big of an age difference. Um, well, it is but it's weird to date a guy who's younger than you, I think. Do you think? I've dated guys who are younger than me, and it didn't really turn out <laughs> well. So I need a man that's a little bit older, you know, gone through a little bit more life experience. Are you single now? I am single now, yes. Could we perhaps see you on Bachelor in Paradise? Um, I think it would be fun. I mean, why not? There, there's drinks. You're, you're on, on the, the beach. beach. There's attractive people everywhere. You're I, Australian. I'm down for it. <laughs> I'm, I'm down for it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, and Demi, we also have seen Demi be very playfully uh, sexual with Colton. Yes. Um, paddling him, blindfolded, uh, giving him a massage in the robe. Uh, did you get the sense from Demi, I'm not sure how much of it you saw, but was she like really kind of into the idea of taking Colton's virginity? She's hinted at it, talked about it. Was this something that was discussed amongst um, the women in the house? I mean, I don't know. She's definitely playful. Um, she didn't She didn't say any of those kinds of things to me. We weren't, like, necessarily super close in the house. But I think that, you know, she, she does it for fun. She does it to stand out, get that attention on TV, you know. It's 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 all about getting the, the good airtime. Do you know how much they had talked before you guys started filming and how much they knew about whether the other was going on the show? I don't know. I, I mean, I think that it was probably a total surprise to both of them. Interesting. Um, I mean, you know, like, during the casting process, they don't know if, like, yeah. they're going to make it all the way through. Maybe they knew that they were in the casting process. I just don't know. Right, like, knew that they were in the running but didn't necessarily Right, know. right, right. I mean, I was also wondering, like, on night one, and I don't know if maybe we didn't see it, but did they say hi to each other? Like, obviously, they knew each other. Did, did they like, hey, Hannah, I, hey, Kaylin, we used to live together? <laughs> I didn't even know night one that they knew each other. So, like, that, w I, that wasn't aware to me. Um, but I'm sure that was probably an awkward moment for them both when they're like, oh, no. uh, uh, the only thing that would have made it worse is if they'd shown up wearing the same dress, which yes. like somebody else did, but that would have been like yeah. really a moment. Uh, so in the Kaylin Hannah debate right now, who do you side with? With where they're at on the show. Sides. I'm, they're both really sweet, great girls. I spent some time with Hannah and then uh, Kaylin on the show. She was great. So I don't. I can't choose. Tough call. Is I there don't know one the whole story else. without taking sides, but just knowing what we've like watched on the show? Is there one who you think is coming across a little more clear, or one that Colton's siding with a little bit more after last night's episode? I mean, I really feel like we're hearing a lot of uh, Kaylin's story. I don't know as much from Hannah. Uh, she says, you know, some yeah. things, and I, I feel like maybe we're not getting the whole story. Hopefully that comes out in later episodes. I don't know. What about, um, were you a fan of the show before you? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I, I mean, I've watched, like, since it started. So oh, wow. that, that's why, for me, it was, like, so Reed, surreal. Then you've been watching since you were a child. <laughs> yes. I mean, I wasn't even allowed to stay up late enough to finish it. I was so young. So, like, <laughs> okay. Yeah. A long-time fan here, everybody. Yeah. Then, having been on the show, uh, was it different? What was surprising to you about actually filming versus what you thought you knew as a fan? Um, I mean... The, the whole process itself, like, you get there and you're just like, whoa, this is what it's really like. Yeah. Like, you, you think that you can prepare yourself to, like, be on TV and, like, you want to be portrayed a certain way, but you just don't know how, like, producers and everybody will edit things. So it's, like, kind of kind of weird being in that moment and thinking, yeah. like, all right, I'm just going gonna, gonna to hold this back. Like, and I'm not going to save a little bit. this. Yeah. For sure. And then, like, being in the house was, you know, very surreal. Do you wish that you'd let go a little bit more? Yeah, um, I definitely felt that, like, leaving that night, I wish that I would have um, opened up a little bit more and just, like, been my silly self, you know? Like, because I, I think that we saw that, like, in the limo entrance, and then I got in the house, and it was almost just like I was like... 
Oh, yeah. like I, you know, like I kind of like was a little bit more to myself and um, I don't know, it, it, I wish that I would have done that differently. Uh, well, I mean, you we see that a lot in these first couple days, especially. Yeah. It's crazy. You go from having a cell phone, talking to your friends and family, being in the world, to suddenly shut off from all of that with a right. group of new people. Who in the cast do you think was kind of struggling the most in those beginning days? Um, I I feel like I kept saying it to all of the girls. I was just like, is this weird for anybody else? And, like, a, yeah. a lot of the girls that had watched the show would say, like, this is very surreal. You know, like, it's so weird being here. Um, but then there was, like, girls, I, I feel like Kaylin was, like, very comfortable on camera. And I feel like it's because, like, of her background with um, pageantry. She was, like, you know, very well-spoken yeah. and okay on camera. But, like, you're sitting there and you're talking to Colton or whoever and there's, like, all these cameras all around you and you're just, like... I can't even focus. I don't, I don't know what to say right now, even in interviews, you know. Well, and it's so. funny because Hannah has that pageant background, but I don't think that that necessarily happened for Hannah. Like, she, when she was trying to make the she toast, froze she, like, she made her toast, froze. Uh, which I totally get. Like, I felt for her in that moment because it's, like, anything you want to say, like, you try and be yourself, and it's, like, it just, it's, like, out the window, you yeah. know? Like, you, you, you can't do it. Well, I have to ask you about um, a comparison that's been made about you. There are no Laurens on this season, but a lot of people saying you're kind of a doppelganger for Lauren Bushnell. I've heard it a lot. Have you reached out to her? Have you guys talked about this look-alike situation? Um, I was trying to be cool and just be like, you know, Lauren and I will just connect one we'll day. We'll meet up at but a, like a Bachelor event at some point. Everyone's been tagging her in all of my posts, so and so funny. she finally followed me and responded to one of my comments and, like, you know, something silly, and I was just like, oh, what's up, sis? You know, like, <laughs> so we'll see where that goes. We're going to be BFFs. <laughs> I love it. Um, you both live in L.A. You can go say hi to her. Yes. Yeah. Is there, is there one thing oh. that you were just like, yeah. I can't believe this is how this actually works? I mean, I knew that, like, night one would go super late, but it was just, like, sitting around and, like, you know, waiting and <laughs> going into all these interviews and um, everything's, you know, really crazy, so. You got sent home at the rose ceremony, but we want to see more of you on TV. Can you give me one more sentence in the accent? Okay, yeah, so I, it was so much fun. Thank you so much for having me. Would love to be back on. <laughs> I love that you do this, like, when you're just going out, too. This is amazing. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Brie, thank you for being here. Follow Brie on social media. She'll give you accent tips. And watch The Bachelor Monday nights on ABC+. Plus. Roses and Rosé is up Tuesdays on our YouTube channel. And we are here every Tuesday morning recapping The Bachelor.